Hello guys, uh, welcome back to Maison African Motives, uh, still on uh, industrial electronics and for working on semiconductor diodes uh, in this platform. We have got uh, the question that we are going to focus on uh, from the February 22 quest, uh, 2022 question paper, where we are given uh, the first part on question 3.1, that uh, what is uh, the forward voltage drop for a silicon and germanium so take note we are talking about the forward voltage drop for a silicon and a germanium uh pn adjunction diode so in this case if we are dealing with a silicon uh it is at uh, 0 0.6 it is approximated at 0 0.6 uh, according to our syllabus uh some they use 0 0.7 but according to our syllabus, that is a uh, 0,6 uh, volts. Then uh, for germanium, uh, this is at uh, 0, 0,3. Uh, volts. So these are the voltages that you're supposed to know. So sometimes they might give you uh, these voltages and you're asked to state, is it true or false? So you need to know your voltages for each. Then uh, we are given on 3.2, at which stage does a Zener diode behave like an ordinary diode? Okay. Uh, remember, a Zena diode is, uh, is is used basically for a reverse uh, bias when it is uh, in reverse state. That is the major part where we are using a Zena diode. So now, what is the condition that we are going to use as a Zena diode? What is the stage that it is going to behave as a normal? That is an, an ordinary diode. This one we are referring to a normal uh, PN junction uh, diode. So meaning to say it must be in a forward bias because we know that an ordinary diode uh, operates in a forward bias, okay? In a reverse bias, there is no uh, flow of current. So meaning to say it must be a forward biased, all right? So this must be forward uh, biased, all right? So that is the condition that we can have. Then on 3.3, draw a labeled characteristic curve of a Zena diode that is six marks to draw. All right, so you have got uh, a diagram that we wonder, I want us to check and uh, work on. So this is uh, what we have on a Zena diode in this case. All right, so uh, if we check here, we know the symbol that we are going to use for a Zena diode. We can apply this one or we can use this one. So what we are going to have in this case is the forward current. So here we've got the forward current. Uh, with the forward uh, bias region, with the forward bias uh, in this case. So this is a VF, all right? So this is our forward, uh, whereby uh, this is a VR in the negative, the reverse bias in this case. All right, and we also have a negative VZ in this case. And uh, here we are going to have IZ uh, max. This is a IZ max, okay? Uh, which... Um, corresponds to the Zener breakdown. So here we have got our Zener breakdown at this point. So this is our Zener uh, breakdown. All right, so we've got our Zener breakdown in this case. Uh, and we have got uh, the Zener breakdown region that we are given. Uh, and uh, this is uh, going to be IZ max. And we've got uh, IZ max in this case here all right so here we have got uh is it max that is the maximum zener uh current and this region uh must indicate this we must also have this region here which indicates the normal operating range so this is our normal let me try to have another uh marker here let's just hope it is going to be clear all right so like I said, we have got our normal operating region. So we've got our normal uh, operating uh, region in this case. That is our normal operating region. All right. Then, uh, like I said, our forward bias. So this is actually our forward voltage in this case. This is our forward voltage. Uh, and uh, we also have uh, here... We are going to have our forward uh, voltage drop. So we have got our forward uh, voltage drop in this case. That's a forward uh, voltage drop. All right. So these are some of the things that we need to know. 
Okay, so I think uh, that's what you're going to have. And uh, here we are going to have IZK, IZT, and so on. And uh, also our current in the reverse. So this is in the reverse. Uh, this is uh, in the forward being a positive, reverse being a negative. All right. So, and also our voltage is approximating uh, 0 0,3 to 0, depending with what you're going to, to work with. Uh, remember, we talked about silicon and germanium before. All right. So this is what we have. Uh, yes, some of the, yes, you can just uh, have some, but uh, for six marks, uh, you just need to label properly. That is the major part. All right. On 3.4, we are given which type of a diode can be used as a variable capacitor. Which type of a diode? That is a, vari uh, a varactor in this case. So we are dealing with a varactor diode uh, that it can be used as a, uh, a variable capacitor. Remember, we are, we are going to apply a varactor diode there. And 3.5, uh, give two practical applications of a varactor diode. Now, take note, guys, the answer that we just had here, they are giving us again to talk about that answer. So meaning to say, sometimes uh, let us be careful well, while you are answering these questions. Just also given a certain hint must also help you. Okay, so we need uh, uh, the properties or what we're going to have on a varactor. In this case, the applications which is used uh, in, in FM modulators, which also can be used in automatic frequency control devices, also, we can use it in adjustable band pass filters and also in parametric uh, amplifiers. So this is where we can have our varactor uh, diode in application. All right. So this is uh, what we had, guys, uh, from Mason African Motives uh, till we meet again.